Hello friends, this is Dr. Sitesh Roy, your super specialist in immunology, allergy and asthma coming to you with this special on COVID-19 complication called mucormycosis. This has been in the news very um, prominently in the recent days and I have received a lot of questions from people about what is mucormycosis. Mucormycosis is a rare invasive fungal infection that has been known to modern medicine for many many decades and centuries now. It is caused by a fungus called mucor but it can also be caused by other types of what is called fungi or fungi or you can call them molds if you may like. For a person who has a compromised immune system either due to having diabetes or having received some strong immunosuppressive drugs or having been on steroids for a prolonged period of time or having recently undergone cancer treatment their immunity can be suppressed enough that they can then contract such types of rare fungal infections and end up with quite complicated uh, medical courses thereafter the reason why we have been seeing a rise in mucormycosis cases with COVID-19 should be very obvious because we do have people who have diabetes who are at risk of getting more severe symptoms or complications from COVID-19. We also have people who have suppressed immunity because the infection itself, the prolonged hospitalization and also the use of steroids which may sometimes be used at higher than required doses during COVID-19 are suppressing the immune system of individuals and hence sometimes even young individuals or people who are slightly older are coming in with mucormycosis after they have potentially recovered from their original COVID-19 infection. How does one recognize that this may be happening to someone you know or to anyone listening to this video? The first thing is there can be symptoms of headache, one-sided facial pain, facial swelling. There can also be loss of smell that occurs on one side. Very rarely does mucormycosis affect both sides of the nose and sinuses and respiratory tract simultaneously. Usually a person has time when these symptoms are just developing to immediately seek medical care usually on a CT scan of the sinuses as well as through something called biopsies or cultures taken from the nose and sinuses. The mucormycosis infection can be readily diagnosed. Depending on the extent and severity of the disease, a person might require surgical intervention to remove some of the affected tissue and areas and also require what is called intravenous antifungal agents. There are several of them available and also oral antifungal agents for a prolonged period of time in order to get rid of the infection. So what can one do so that they can reduce the risk of mucormycosis? So for my medical professional friends who are listening to this, the first step obviously is to use the steroids in the right doses and only in the cases that are being hospitalized, in the cases that are requiring oxygen should steroids be used. It has been found that very very low doses or medium doses of steroids are adequate high or what is called supranormal doses of steroids should not be used in patients as much as possible because it does not benefit even the COVID-19 recovery in any way. So a 6 milligram dose of dexamethasone or maybe a 20 milligram dose of visolone maybe or, or prednisone may be enough in most cases. The second thing is recognition of this complication during the late phase of the hospitalization or after discharge and quick evaluation with CT scan and with investigations like cultures and biopsies can pick up the infection early, initiate the treatment early and hence prevent even rare complications like loss of vision that has been known to occur in some people who've got pretty severe cases of mucormycosis and even uh, invasion of the fungus into the brain and the nervous system. So I really think that this is something that is avoidable. People with diabetes are at increased risk for this and also people with immune compromise due to other reasons or immunodeficiency from other reasons. So all of these people have to be careful. So with that friends, take care, stay safe, be healthy, work on your immune system. That's what will get you through this pandemic. God bless us all. Thank you.